Hello guys, me Elf, Elf Net Designs, Communications, and I was asked a question in a video, I was also asked questions in uh, messages and email and things like that, on how the process of refurbing this model radio, now this is an HT 1250, it had been recently refurbed a few months ago, <coughs> and uh, by one of those Chinese refurb kits, um, and I think everything you're looking at right now is all you're going to need to do this. You're, all, you're of course going to need the radio and the refurb kit. We're going to, I don't have any 1250s in the shop right now that, that are in need of refurb kit. I have a 750 and the kit's not in for that. It's basically the same deal. <coughs> um, but what you're going to need is, the, of course, the radio in need of refurb. You're going to need the kit. You're going to need a flathead or bladed slotted screwdriver and I wear gloves because I like to keep you know, dirt and things off customer radios. Gloves are optional. Um, I wear them just out of habit. Um, you know, I do communications and you wouldn't believe some of the nasty things that I come across and, you know, reinstalls or gratings and things like that. Why do we wear gloves? It's like, like plumbers, you know. <laughs> anyway, since I don't have a radio to refurb, we're going to use our imagination here and say this radio is in need of refurb. And we have the kit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this case off and walk you through it. You do have to be careful. There are ribbon cables and things. First thing you want to do before doing any refurbing is get the battery off you pull these down both of them and it pops right off put that somewhere i usually stick it in a conditioner charger but i know that battery is good <coughs> next thing you want to do is get the housing uh playoffs the accessory plate off here get the screwdriver just unscrew it that slides over the antenna and you need something to put this stuff in um of course Anything will do. I happen to have a metal tin that house Christmas cookies in here. There's still cookie crumbs in it, but that's okay. Then you can unscrew the antenna. The knobs oh, just they come right off. You might have to use the force. And now the fun begins. Now that we got all of this off, you're going to take this tool and you're going to get right here in the end. And you're going to apply a little bit of pressure to pop the metal up. Now the original Motorola has a tab and you're going to, you're going to want to pop that metal up. And gently pull this out and I see the gasket is broke um, oh, this is where you need to be careful now you want to just work this out and let it come out and fold it back like this and take and you release it from its prison right there now I'm not going to take these ribbons out I'm just showing you how to pop this out now a refurb kit comes with you know knobs and the uh, side housing usually the stickers are already on the buttons however are not and the old radio you got to pull you'll see this brace on the speaker you get some pliers what I do is usually I cut that off because it comes with new new ones already now if you're lucky it already has all this together and all you need to do is plug in um, wait no it won't have it together because you got to put your speaker and control pad in excuse me um, but the buttons the real red buttons this black ring these blue oh you can't see the blue gaskets uh, the black bezel something on this no. red button this side piece push to talk will all be already in here or what you want to do is there's a retaining brace here 
The old one, I usually pick a pair of dikes, cut it out, because you're going to get a new one. This back plate here, you don't get, so you got to be kind of careful and kind of work it out of its prison. It's clipped in. One, two, three, four. Of course, you would unplug these off here, and these, this just pulls straight that way. The brown piece, you want to prise off towards that way and work these cables out and you can eliminate the uh, radio itself from this put all that and get it all out get your keypad your speaker everything and just plop right out and you take your new kit and your guts and you put in put in your buttons first your six your six buttons or your full keypad whichever you have it's a 1550 if it's a 750 of course there are no buttons 1250 it would be six and so on so on just reverse the process um the retaining ring with the speaker clip in your new ring and it, this thing goes in a certain way you have to put damn you can't see but i you have to put this in first slide it in and then press it down and it'll clip uh usually use the screwdriver to mash that down if you have to same way with your shield your io uh my io shield your control shield here control button circuit board shield put the front buttons put the circuit board put your shield back on and just clip them back in and then route your cables back to your radio and you plug them in <coughs> excuse me and then you're going to fold the radio back over and you're going to go at an angle like this so you get the knobs back through the hole and then you're just going to work it i need to replace this gasket i think huh the gasket's missing oh must have missed it when i did it very well this radio doesn't see weather so <laughs> And then get it in there about like so and just with your fingers until it clips and it's back in its house big knob goes on there a small channel knob run it around and you get the one and on there your just antenna back on with the accessory cover on make sure you screw it down put use the new one that usually comes with a new one use the new one the old one throw in the garbage or whatever and with the case and lastly throw your battery on turn it on and you should be good to go with a new case this is the chinese version as you can see the LEDs show through <laughs> if you don't mind the LEDs showing through the Chinese kits on eBay are about $20 or so um, the Motorola ones are significantly higher and but yeah that is the process I didn't wear the gloves because it's my radio but if it's yours and you don't want fingerprints and things like that in it and we're going to wear gloves or if it's a customer's radio anyway um that is pretty much it and like i said we didn't have a radio needed for refurb so we just use our imagination and say we did it to this one even though it was already done but that was the process that i take in getting it apart and putting it back together with a new kit now i know i didn't go into actually doing it because i didn't want to cut that band off the speaker and, and prize all that stuff up on camera and just you know it's a perfectly good this radio has already been refurbed i don't want to waste parts as you would as i would say you know and those things cost money so i hope this helps um how to do refurb kit the key is that when you get it apart just be very careful with the ribbons until you get them separated from the board now those plugs they just you push the plastic forward 
either with the screwdriver or even a smaller screwdriver would be better probably for that and I don't have one handy I just usually use my fingernails and push on both ends and push it out and pull the ribbons out <coughs> and uh, go from there just to get the radio itself away from the front and go from there. And then just reverse your process and always have something to put the parts in because if you don't you might lose something up there. And yeah, I uh if this helps anyone who has any you know, is wanting to know how to do it before buying it, that's how I do it. Um the key is patience and being careful, but I've done this so many times that I can do it quick. So, anyway, I'm Elf Elf Net Designs Communications, and if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. That's kind of how all this stuff works. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.